and a channel. Today is Monday and it is two o'clock so that means it is time for another live video. It's time for us to all hang out. Yes. <laughs> So we have a very exciting vehicle today because we realized on our channel that this is the 2023 Kia Sportage HEV EX. Mm -hmm. So although we have had an EX here at the dealership before, we only had a tech and safety review done on this vehicle. So today we actually get to go through, we get to do the full walkthrough and you guys get to ask all of your questions about it too. Cause you're going to be really surprised about the features, the fuel economy that you do get in this vehicle. Um, for it not being, you know, the SX or the top trim in this lineup. So mm -hmm. I think you guys are really going to enjoy today's video. But with that being said, for those of you who are watching in the future, um, like I said, it's Monday and it's 2 o'clock and we are <laughs> live right now. We're going to show you guys how to hop onto our live videos if you ever would like to. If you want to catch us on our next live, which is Thursday at 2 p.m., by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to turn around our screen. So if you ever want to hop on, you're going to go to the Kia Hyundai channel, and you'll see it says Live 2023 Sportage HEV EX All-Wheel Drive Full Walk Around. Now, sometimes you'll have to refresh. Thank you, Gabby. <laughs> and all you have to do is click on. You'll see that it says Live. And if you hit that, you'll be able to interact with us. You'll be able to ask us your questions in real time. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, with that being said, if you are still watching in the future and you're not able to hop onto the live, you may have to watch an ad. For those of you who are watching right now, I will do your ad for you. <laughs> uh, so, of course, we are a dealership located here in Brantford, Ontario. Myself and Gabby work for Brantford Kia, as our logo wing suggests. Brantford <laughs> Kia Studio. <laughs> so, if you guys are interested in, in, in any vehicles in the Kia lineup, we would love to help you out and see you through the selling process if you're in Ontario. Gabby can be your sales associate, I can be your finance manager, and we'll take good care of you, we promise. Absolutely. <laughs> For those of you who are more inclined towards our Hyundai content, we have not one but two Hyundai stores that are in our dealer group. We have both Brantford Hyundai and Owen Sound Hyundai. Uh, so if you have questions about their product or want to get into one of their vehicles, we have a link in our description box below to get you guys connected with us, and we'll get you connected with them too. So that was a lot. <laughs> Gabby, anything you want to add? Let's get into the car. This car <laughs> is super exciting. It is value packed. It's a hybrid and it's a Kia Sportage. So those are already major keywords. It's an extremely popular vehicle. Um, we have had a couple roll into our dealership already that our customers that are on our wait list have received. This one is, like we said, the EX all wheel drive in Snow White Pearl. And we're gonna show you just how fabulous this vehicle is. Yes. Charlotte's gonna start off with the walk around of the exterior and then me and Mark will take in to the interior. So I'm going to start by first off talking about the specs. So underneath the hood, it is the 1.6 liter turbo. Uh, it is an all wheel drive. It is a hybrid vehicle too, like we said. Uh, for horsepower, you're looking at 227 ponies and then 258 pound feet of torque. So definitely got some power in this vehicle. And then also MSRP, I'll give you guys that. Number two right up front is $36,495. Canadian. 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 <laughs> So now we can actually go and take a walk around of this beautiful vehicle and we'll talk about some of the key components. I'm gonna turn the lights on first. Oh, it's really wet over here. Oh, do you have the key? Uh, yep. Thank you. <laughs> gonna grab the key actually. Just really building up the suspense for these lights, obviously. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So on the front, we do have a mix of bulbs and also LEDs. If you are looking to get the full LED experience, you would have to move up to the SX and that'll give you LEDs on both the front and the rear full LED units. But still, you're not gonna have a problem with visibility when it comes to this vehicle. There is a lot going on in the front end too. So of course you have your beautiful uh, piano black glossy grill. It looks gorgeous, especially with the snow white pearl. High contrast, I think always looks very good. Very sharp kind of X shaped or boomerang shaped headlights. So those are there and they are super bright for you too. You got fog lights at the bottom as well. And I'll flip on the hazards, that way you can see what the turn signal looks like too. And this also shows that you do have your turn signal marker on the mirrors as well, so a lot of people like to have that. I always find it weird when they don't include it on vehicles. And now we can come around to the side as well. 
and we have lovely 17 inch tires here or 17 inch wheels and this rim it is exclusive for the hybrid on the ex the sx it does have different rims they are alloys they are beautiful I'm trying to think of what kind of shape this is i think kind of pinwheel shape what Let's do you see. think gabby do you think pinwheel the i want to say yeah that's very pinwheely to me thank you in the best way possible <laughs> <laughs> i think it's cute <laughs> And then, of course, on your mirrors, too, uh, they are body-colored mirrors. You have your turn signal marker, and they are heated as well. The windshield actually is also heated, too, and Gabby will be able to show you how to activate that when you're inside the vehicle. But that is a feature that you are going to love for the winter. It's starting to get colder here. We haven't had really any snow that's stuck yet, but when it does, I'm always glad when these vehicles have that feature because <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> On the side, you do have body colored door handles. You do have keyless entry as well. So you can just press the pad, unlock the vehicle and get in. And then also you can see some of the very sharp styling. So lots of dimension playing with the curves. This is one right here that I like to point out too. And then also some nice texture in the chrome as well on the side. You do have roof rails as well. And now we can take a look at the rear. So the rear, you'll see that we still do have our hazards on. Uh, so that's just a, a bulb for you. And then also, this vehicle does have a hidden wiper. So tucked underneath the spoiler is going to be your wiper blade and that swoops down instead of it being mounted in the center. I think from a design standpoint, it looks very good. It looks very clear on this vehicle. And then it also can protect your wiper from getting you know caught up in snow and ice once we hit that season and I'll show you guys what we have in the rear as well. And you can also see your backup camera. So there's your backup camera and Gabby will be able to actually show the screen once we get into the vehicle. So this vehicle has a ton, a ton of cargo space. I was actually talking about this today in comparison with the uh, Sport or the Sorento, which is the vehicle I drive. So something that I really like to point out when comparing the Sorento and also the Sportage is that if you have um, five seats, you get way more cargo space in the Sportage than you do with the Sorento. I drive a Sorento uh, EX Plus, it's a six seater. And um, with it, when I put one of the seats down to make it a five seater, I still don't have nowhere near as much space as I do in this vehicle. So I always like to point that out, especially because I recently bought a stroller. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I actually don't know if I have enough trunk space to fit this with my groceries in and everything else too. So love the cargo space in this vehicle. And then also you can see that you do have a real spare tire. So not just a mobility kit, it's the real deal in this. So we will bring that back down. I will turn the lights off. And then Gabby will be able to take you guys inside the vehicle. So we'll have one last pan on the outside, just while I'm turning off the lights. Beautiful. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the interior of this vehicle. I think you'll be very surprised with how much tech is in here and how many features you get with the EX model. So like Charlotte mentioned earlier, it's 36695 Canadian, and oh my goodness, that is such a bargain. So it is a hybrid, of course. You do have your synthetic leather seats. They are super, super comfy. The driver and passenger seat are both heated. You also have a heated steering wheel. The driver's seat itself is powered with lumbar support, so two-way lumbar support. I'm going to hop in real quick and show you what we have on our driver's side of things. So we have this beautiful, I want to say graphite-y, door panel um, on the other trim levels on the regular gasoline. It looks more carbon fiber-esque. I personally like this one a little bit more. We also have automatic windows for driver and passenger. Well, they're all automatic, but express up and down for driver and passenger. Our door locks, all that's pretty standard. We get into some more fun stuff over here. So we have our brightness selector. If you find your screen's a little too bright for you at nighttime, you can adjust it there. You have your traction control, so to turn it off. Also your 12 volt battery reset and your electronic parking brake. One feature that works with your electronic parking brake is auto hold. If you've seen our lives a couple times or any of our videos, you know me and Charlotte will talk about this forever, for days. I love auto hold. I'll talk about it a bit more once Mark joins me in the passenger side. So he'll come around and do that right now. I should probably close my door. 
All right. So with my lovely power seats, I'll adjust them. Mark seat is just manual. So that's one thing that you would have to go to the SX. If power seats for passenger is a must have for you, you would have to go up a trim level. These seats, like I said, though, they're still heated. Um, so you don't lose any luxury or comfort there. It's a little reclined or it's in a weird it's position not, for Mark right it's now. Not reclined at all. So he's just going to have to adjust. Let's talk steering wheels. So we have all our Bluetooth and media controls on the left side of the wheel. This is going to have your hands free or your talk, your voice command button, your volume controls for the radio or stereo, whatever you're listening to. Also a phone button to answer phone calls and a little star. So this star is essentially an empty button. You can program it to do whatever you'd like. So I have mine for reject, like to end a call. When you do have the car on and you press it while it's blank, it'll bring up the screen where you can choose what you want it to be. So you can even have it go to your hybrid screen. You can have it be quiet mode, map, route, voice memo, all these options here. So it's really great how you can actually customize this car to however you like it, um, whatever features you use most often. I usually recommend to my customers drive it for a couple weeks, see where you go to often, and then make that your shortcut. On the back of those buttons over there, we have our paddle shifters. So this is tethered to your six speed automatic transmission, very responsive. So one thing I love about the hybrid is the power increase as opposed to the regular ICE Sportage, gasoline engine Sportage. It definitely has a lot more power even in eco mode. Speaking of drive modes, we do have our drive mode select right down here. So I'll have Mark pan over to our main screen over here. You have smart, sport mode and eco mode. And then if I were to press this down like a button, it'll switch me into terrain. So because this is an all wheel drive vehicle, you have snow, mud and sand. Now it's always going to be all wheel drive. If it senses, well, it's primarily front wheel, but if it senses a little bit of, I hate this word, but slippage, it will adjust as needed to give you optimal traction. So it's a great, very smart car to have. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have our little notepad button. That's to change your different menus on the main screen there. So you can see right now we're showing our fuel efficiency or our drive info. Our compass, if I had a route set in my navigation, it'll actually show me where to turn there. So it's really nice. You don't have to take your eyes off your main sight of vision or line of vision. You also have your all wheel drive torque distribution and then just where you're at in your lane. Of course, we're not in any lane right now, so it's blank. But if you were driving, it'll light up your lanes for you. They'll be um, bright white if you are in the middle of your lane. On the right side of that, we do have our cruise control button. So if I were to press that while driving, I would turn on my cruise control. This vehicle does have highway drive assist, so if you're on a registered highway, it'll pick up the speed limit, it'll know if there's any curves in the road, and it'll adjust as needed. You can turn that off if it drives you nuts and just use regular cruise control. Speaking of regular cruise control, we do have our advanced or smart cruise control button right there. So that's how you'll set your following distance from the vehicle ahead of you. There's four preset modes. I usually have it on the closest, which is still a pretty good distance away from the vehicle ahead of you. This vehicle is equipped with forward collision avoidance and that works in junction turns as well too. So if you were to make a left turn at a busy intersection, it'll pick up opposing traffic. Great feature to have. You never really think about it until you kind of need it. So it's great that this vehicle has it. You also have your steering assistance right over here. So this works with a camera that's located right behind our rear view mirror. This monitors the lanes ahead of you and keeps you centered in your lanes, provides gentle steering input. If you did have to, I don't know, swerve because there's something on the road, it will still let you do that. Um, it's not going to completely take over. So it's great that it's an assistance and not something fully taking over. It's not robotic. I'll show you the main screen right over here. So you have the beautiful 12.3 inch display. I'll slide over to the right. You have your hybrid menu. So on our hybrid vehicles, you can actually see your energy flow, your fuel efficiency, your electric motor use, everything. This vehicle has just been road tested. Um, it just came in. It's a sold unit. So it does, hasn't had a real driving experience, like no highway, no daily driving. It just has that one road test and whatever it was on the boat before it came over here. We also have our map for our navigation. You can have this full screen or split screen. So it can actually show what your weather's like, your hybrid menu, the time. Just a couple customization things you can do in this vehicle. Speaking of customization, you do have ambient lighting inside. I'm not too sure how well that'll pick up on camera but it's kind of set to an orangey red right now. Beautiful color, and you can change this to whatever you like on the color wheel. Over here, you have your heated seats, heated steering wheel, and your wireless phone charger. You also have USBs, a USB-C, and a 12 volt. So let me open that up. There we go. And you can close this up if you don't wanna see it. One thing I don't love about this vehicle is the panel black over here. So it's very fingerprint prone. I would just probably carry a cloth with me so I don't have to look at it all the time. 
And over here, we have our auto hold button, which essentially holds you at a stop until you hit the gas. So when you fully depress the brake pedal and come to a complete stop, hit the gas again, it'll release you. It's really nice. You can take your foot off the brake, your downhill assist, and your parking camera. So let's press that and take a quick look at our camera. There we go. Now we'll take a look at the back seat of the vehicle and show you what's back there. Right, guys I'm a little out of breath okay so for our back seats we have a ton of room over here I did recline my seat a little bit when I was in the driver's side just so we were a little more comfortable for filming and you can see we have this beautiful hook on the back of the headrest so you can hang jackets bags whatever you may need whatever you don't want on the floor of your vehicle you do have USB C's built into the seats as well and rear air vents down here, I know it's a little bit dark, but there is a pocket, so essentially you can have your phone charging in the USB-C and then put your phone in there so it's all contained nice and neat, no cords everywhere. And you also have pockets built into the backs of both seats. For interior lighting, you do have the ambient lighting, of course. For your main lights, they are regular bulbs, not LEDs. If you do need LEDs, you do have to go to the SX model. Um, another thing I wanted to note is there is a heated windshield. There's, of course, a heated rear windshield as well too. I know I probably shouldn't call it a windshield, but I think that's what it is. I think that's the correct term for it. I'll bring this down and you have either an armrest or a cup holder or, you know, an extra seat. No, that's not legal. <laughs> Each of these seats, they all have car seat anchors as well too. So if you do have little ones, you can place them wherever it fits best. These seats also recline almost all the way. So if you have no one sitting in the back here and you need a lot of cargo space, you can totally do that with the Sportage. So that's about it for the back. We'll do a quick pan of the seats and the seating material. So you can see it's exactly the same material that was in the front of the seats. They are super, super comfy. You do have quite a bit of, I wanna say thigh length room. So they are very comfy seats and they do recline a bit as well too. So I'll just recline mine. And if Mark wants to recline his, if he can. There we go. So however your rear passengers fit best, there's always a ton of leg room. And one thing I really like is how this hump isn't too tall. So if you do have someone sitting in the center seat, it's not like their knees are pressed up against their chest. It's very, very comfortable. So that's about it for the back seat of the Sportage. Now me and Charlotte will take some of your guys' questions. I know a lot came in, quite good. a lot. <laughs> Probably a lot of wait time comments as well. No. No, not really? No, not really, actually. Let's take a look. Does it have drift mode? It does not, but I guess if you disable traction control, there you go. You can make it work probably. Um, Kia is going to win SUV of the year with this car, probably the PHEV version, but still, it wouldn't surprise me. This car absolutely has been killing it. Um, but for some reason, I was standing like the, the laptop was the camera. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm not even really in frame. <laughs> it's a. Uh, we have three screens in front of us right now, my laptop, our TV, and my phone that we're filming on. It's getting a little confusing. So if we're not making eye contact, it's not personal. Um, can you do a Sportage PHEV EX Premium next time? Would love to. No. <laughs> Short answer, no. Long answer, we would love to. There's none in Canada for dealerships yet. So a couple of review channels have had the car, but dealers, which we are, we're not just a review channel. We're a real dealership. Um, we haven't gotten any yet. As soon as we do get one, we will film it though. Um, do the hybrid cars heat up or cool down faster than your standard gas cars? I find they definitely do, 100%. Um, finally catching you all live. Can't wait to get my Sportage PHEV. We can't wait for Yay! you to get your Sportage PHEV either. That's super exciting. I've seen a couple questions about um, like the traction battery or like the hybrid battery in this vehicle too. No, you shouldn't have to replace the hybrid battery for the life of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. However, if you do encounter problems with the hybrid system, there is additional warranty on these vehicles for uh, specifically for EV, PHEV and HEV components. And that is going to be for eight years, 150,000 from Kia Canada. So sh if you do have a problem, you do have additional coverage too. Um, what's causing the continuous delays on Kia Hyundai PHEVs? I placed a deposit last year. Chips. chips. Microchips. Yep. These are very high-tech cars, require a lot of chips. Some manufacturers, they're only giving out one key because the keys take chips. Yeah. Um, there's also popularity that becomes an issue as well, too. These cars are extremely popular. A lot of people are getting on the wait list mm -hmm. for them. 
factories just can't keep up with the demand. Um, we're hoping it gets better, but right now it's yeah. Thumbs I down. think a part <laughs> of it is you know obviously Kia knew before the pandemic that these vehicles were going to be a part of the lineup that they were going to be coming out and mm -hmm. they had forecasted dates for it, but because of the pandemic they haven't been able to necessarily keep up with the popularity of it too, which again pushes it back because there's been such a high demand because these vehicles they're they're really nice. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm a big fan. They're um. Well, working here for a while, you really see how far Kia's come, mm -hmm. but these vehicles have really changed a lot. A oh, lot, a yes. Lot. The, just the amount of traffic we get in the dealership now that our lineup has the EV6, the Sportage Hybrid, we're getting the PHEV. It's, it's been insane, like nuts, <laughs> really crazy. Um, does the EX or SX version have the wireless CarPlay or Android Play option? Unfortunately, neither of them do. Right now for Kia and Hyundai, the only vehicles that do have wireless CarPlay is anything with the eight inch screen. Mm -hmm. So anything with a 10 and a quarter inch or um, 12 inch display does not have it, unfortunately. Um, we have a lot of delays for the hybrids in the US, dealer not allowing to place an order. That's what the issue is here as well too. Yeah. We can't even place factory orders. So, it's so we keep like an internal order bank and if we get allocation, we try to match it up. Mm -hmm. um, that way, you know, people aren't waiting as long. I saw another question asking about parking assist. So the uh, the EX does not have smart park features, but the, or, I wonder if, the, wait. Are you the SX about, does. Yeah, are you talking about smart park features or like, re, or like sensors? backup sensors? Yeah. This one's Which, got back sensors. The SX has the, the front, front and, and rear back. sensors and smart park. Yes. I was struggling to get all my words out. My brain was like, working over time there. <laughs> um, does it, oh no, I read that. Mm. Is she pregnant? Congrats. I am pregnant, yes. Also, why I bought the stroller. <laughs> <laughs> She's a big fan of strollers. Yeah, collector. Um, Gonna start reviewing those. Oh, plenty of space for dogging. Oops, I mean my dog. Why did I read that? <laughs> um, gave up on my RAV4 Prime first quarter of 2024 for a 23 model. That is insane. Yeah. Wait times are, are bad. Yeah. Not just Kia, It's everywhere. for everyone across the board. That's yeah. the unfortunate part. Um, did you know that you can set the HVAC radio control to default by radio by holding the button for a few seconds? Yes. yes. So, and you could do it vice versa as well, too. So if you find yourself or you prefer, I don't know, your ventilation or your climate control as opposed to your media controls, you can preset it to whatever you like best. I would definitely leave it as my climate controls because I can do most of my media stuff from the steering wheel, but it's up to you guys. Um, a lot of our customers love that that's an option, so that's really good. Um, thanks for answering. I mean, can it park oh, for so you? Oh, so smart park. No, yeah. that's on the SX, but there is a hybrid that does have those features. It's just the SX, so not this yeah. one. So one trim level up. Um, let's see. Do you guys have any, our EX gas doesn't have sunroof on standard. So in Canada, the EX regular gasoline does get a panoramic sunroof, which is why it was a little confusing for them to name this the EX and be a hybrid without a sunroof, but it is what it is, whatever. <laughs> um, Making it extra confusing for we, everyone we, involved. Yeah, we just gotta work <laughs> a little harder, but it's fine. Um, is preferred Sonata with motorized seat? I definitely like having a powered seat. I was uh, talking to my customer this morning, earlier today. Uh, this morning, earlier today. This morning. Um, so having a manual seat, if you have to adjust it, and let's say you're on the highway or on a hill, sometimes it'll slide you all the way yeah. back. And it's nice to just kind of reach to your side and just push it forwards or push it up, whichever way you got to adjust your seat. So it's a little easier there. I think they're asking if the trim, the preferred, oh, on is the Sonata. <laughs> that makes <laughs> Not sense. if you prefer. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually just going to leave, guys. <laughs> That's enough Kia for today. Uh, it depends on the year. Was there a specific year that you were wanting to know about? Is I'm assuming current year. I might just have to double check. Oh. Um, I'll double check. What does an average full tank get in kilometers, miles on a hybrid? I've seen this one. I want to say it was seven. I was going to say, I've seen it definitely over 700. It was almost 800. I want to say 780 something. Last time I filled it. It, you get a lot of kilometers. <laughs> you, you get quite a few. <laughs> um, let's see. I placed a deposit for a Sportage PHEV in green color before color info came out. Do I need to contact you to update my selection? 
yes, absolutely. If you ordered with us, definitely reach out to your sales consultant because green is not an option for the hybrid or plug-in hybrid. It's only the black, um, the white, both gray, so steel gray, gravity gray, Vesta blue, and donning red. Those are your only PHEV or HEV color options. Um, is it possible to change the gloss black interior trim? So you can't change it from factory, so they only come with the gloss black, but what you can do is, um, I think, like either Etsy or eBay, Amazon, you may be able to find kind of like a plastic cover that you can kind of clip on. Um, some people even do, like they'll get a vinyl wrap or something and just wrap it. You can certainly do that. If I had this car, I would definitely do that. You could do either like carbon fiber or some sort of brushed metal, something that's less fingerprinty for sure. Um, smart power lift gate. So this one does not have a smart power lift gate. You do have to go to the SX to get that option. It is hydraulic though, so it's quite easy to use. Um, the Sonata, sorry. No, it's okay. I scared you, I think. No. The Sonata Preferred, it does not have uh, powered seats for the driver or the passenger. They're both manual. Mm -hmm. um, the ladies, Gabriella, Charlotte, and Mark. The ladies. Mark is one of the ladies he now. <laughs> He's one of the gorgeous girls. It said, how is Charlotte we doing? Love Mark. I'm doing okay. Just okay. <laughs> I am sore and uncomfortable all the time. <laughs> She's definitely feeling pregnant. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely feeling it now that I'm like this far. So, Mark, come but on thank in. you. There's Mark's arm. They're asking Here's where Mark. Mark's at. He's just uh, supervising, make sure we're doing a good job. Yeah. Are we doing a good job? No? No. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, can you change the color of your car in the Kia Connect app? Not that I know of, no, but. I wish you could. Yeah. Mine just happens to be the right color, so I'm happy yeah. about it. Is yours? No, my car's gray. And is it white on the app? Yeah. So if you have a Snow White Pearl car, good news. If you have any other color car, I Sorry. don't know what to tell you. I know. Tesla allows for it, though. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very jealous of that. I feel like that's definitely something they can update with a future update. Yeah. Um, I'll leave them a note. <laughs> See, I love my EX. I wish it was a hybrid, but still very, very happy. The EX is an amazing vehicle for the, anything mm -hmm. Sportage is honestly amazing. The redesign changed everything. Um, let's see. Is it possible to get the Carmine Red interior on the PHEV version? Yes. So it is an option on the SX model. So as long as you get either the black, the white, or the grays for the exterior, you can get the red Carmine. interior. I love the red. I think it looks really good. A bit asphyxiated due to pregnancy? Yes. <laughs> If I'm like I'm huffing and puffing when I'm like talking, like if I'm walking around and like talking about the car, I'm like, <sighs> oh like my it's gosh. so embarrassing. <laughs> um, does Kia and Hyundai um, onboard navigation systems update over the air? Do you have to bring it in for service? Depends on your vehicle. Yeah, so, so some of them have a nav update that's done by either SD card or USB um, that's downloaded from the dealer. Um, and then other ones, there are they are available through just downloading it yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, Charlotte, this is a great question for you. Yeah. Is there any way to save seat settings per user on the EX? I got the ATV version. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> I love, I love memory seats. Wait, this car doesn't have memory seats it though. It doesn't, no. Yeah. Um, if your vehicle has the memory seat capabilities on the driver's side door, it'll usually say one or two and sometimes have an icon of a seat. Um, Unfortunately, if your vehicle doesn't have that, that won't be there, but memory seats is one of my favorite features. We've actually done a video on setting your memory seats, which we can link below as well, um, if you guys are curious on how to set it up on your vehicle and to check if your vehicle actually has it too. If you keep the HEV at a certain low speed, does it only use electric power? If so, what is it? It's really hard to gauge because it depends on a lot of external things as well too. Mm -hmm. I find mainly when I'm driving around in the parking lot or literally just coasting on the street, whether slowing down to, I don't know, reach a stop sign or something, it'll be in EV mode for sure. Um, where the kind of braking point is depends on a couple other things. Like, do you have your climate control on? Um, what's the temperature like outside? Yeah. Then you might have to use a little bit more gasoline power and it'll vary, so it, it's hard to gauge. Can't really gauge it, that's I my that's answer. I see the question just asking again about wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. This vehicle does not have it. It does have a wireless phone charger though, but mm -hmm. uh, Gabby said a little bit earlier, anything with the bigger screen, anything above eight inches, there is no wireless CarPlay on it yet. So just wired, which you may take some getting used to, but once you're yeah. used to it, first thing I do when I get into my car is plug my phone in. Yeah. it's. Some sacrifices we have to make. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. 
We'll probably take about two or three more minutes of questions because we are getting close to the 30 minute mark. So mm -hmm. if you guys have any more questions about this vehicle or any other vehicles that are coming down the pipeline, feel free to put those in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. This video will be posted as a regular video as well too. So all our future watchers, if you do have questions, you can leave it as a regular comment and we monitor our comments. We'll retry our best too. Um, if we see it, we'll definitely leave you a reply or an answer to your question. Um, I have the 2023 Sportage EX Premium and I love it. I already use the front defroster and it defrosts so fast. Yeah, yeah. it really does. <laughs> it's, um, it's a great feature to have. Um, I sold one this morning and they just love it. Like I showed, oh, I showed yeah. you the app as well too. And the fact that you can preset I everything from your phone, mind blowing. As someone who is usually, I, I like to leave late. Gabby's usually late for work. I, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I just don't give myself a lot of time. <laughs> so it's nice to just kind of grab my phone, make sure like my heat is on. I get into my car, no scraping involved. <laughs> just kind of hop in and go. Car's all warm for me. Um, I'm getting about 725 to 750 kilometers a tank with this car. Awesome. That's pretty good. That's, that's awesome. what I saw on ours when we... Yeah, when that's typically what we see too on our, the one, the, we have one here that's not a sold unit, it's a test drive unit, mm -hmm. and that's generally what we see too, a little bit higher sometimes too. Um, I ordered an EVG, EV6 pack two, should I change it to a pack one in order to get it sooner? Um, it depends on where you ordered it from. If it's in Canada, personally, we see the pack ones come through faster. We haven't had any pack twos since the original pre-order. Well, we got one. Was, yeah, when actually, I... <laughs> you're right. We did have one. Yeah, it was my customer. Yeah. So, um, but then also you're going down a trim. So if it's like, oh, you really want the, the, you know, the pack two, then try to stick it out. Yeah. Um, but if you're just like, I just want the EV6, I don't care what trim, then... Mm -hmm. Unless your dealership actually has one for you, like, you know, confirmation, like yeah. a VIN and everything, I would probably just stick with my original order, especially if you really like the features that are in the GT2 and you were kind of set on it. You might feel a little sad if you dropped out yeah. the GT1 and you don't want that regret because if you wanted to get a GT2 <laughs> at the end of the day. Then you're starting like... Yeah, you're starting from, from scratch, scratch, for sure. If you already have an order that's in, I would definitely try to stay with it. Um, is there a gadget you can use to wirelessly connect your phone to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay? I believe it plugs into the USB port and works over Bluetooth. Can't speak to its stability. Yeah, so there's a couple aftermarket um, companies that do do that. I don't have one. I've never tried it personally, but um, I'm sure if you look through the reviews and everything, you can find one that's yeah. a little bit better. Um, of course, usually the quality of it will vary based on the price of it, unfortunately. So if it's a a cheap one, I don't know if it's gonna be too, too good. Yeah, you just wanna make sure that it's also able to transmit data. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it it's not really gonna be super helpful. Not gonna be great. Um, as a student, which one would Mark purchase and would like to purchase? Do you want my mic? Sure. Uh, as a student, uh, I wouldn't, as a typical student, no one would be able to afford one. <laughs> given the school takes up a lot of, uh, the finances, but if I would, <laughs> uh, I say I'd go for probably a Forte because it's in relative terms something that I, it's a car that in general, it, the general size is similar to the car I have now. Mm -hmm. Good on gas. Um, I've used many wireless adapters and they all work fairly well. Great. Motorola MA1 is amazing for Android Auto, not an Apple fan, so... Does the comment keep going? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't had any of my customers purchase an adapter yet, so I've never seen it in action, but I've definitely seen people talk about it on our forums. Um, if you can find one that works, that's awesome. That's your shortcut around not having wireless CarPlay. Um, I don't know. Do you want to get any more questions? I don't see any. Uh, I see the one about the prime rate for financing on this vehicle. Mm -hmm. So if you were looking to place an order and you were coming in and you were taking home a 23 Sportage HEV EX today, uh, the prime rate for financing, the lowest one available is 5.99 currently. And that is as of the month of November. Mm -hmm. Of course, rates are subject to change. Subject to change. <laughs> so I can't guarantee if you're watching this years in the future <laughs> that it's going to be the same. Hopefully rates are better. Or even, yeah, hopefully it's just better. Yeah. <laughs> I want it better. Um, I had a chance to drive a new Gen Elantra. 
The only thing I didn't like was the big plastic handle between the driver and the passenger side. <laughs> um, can you guys advise those designers to remove that thing in 2024? Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of leverage with the design elements of the vehicle. We did a video driving <laughs> that, and that was what we were saying too. Um, that was a that was a fun video. It's like Charlotte, can I have my heated seat on? And I'm like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let me just get my arm through there. It's not convenient. <laughs> yeah. We agree. We agree. It's, that car is very much like driver focused though, because it's like such a popular commuter car too. Yeah. Like you can even tell that by like the 10 degree tilt that is in that car. It's all angled towards the driver. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that should probably sum up our question period. Yeah. It's definitely a longer video, 35 minutes. Oh, oh my man. goodness. You Thanks. guys were asking some awesome questions today though. Yeah. So that was awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, guys. Um, be sure to hang out with us again on Thursday <laughs> at 2 p.m. Um, the car that day, it will be a Hyundai. No more spoilers, but it's a fun one. Um, do you have anything to no? mention? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it when you guys log on and we love chatting with you guys too. Mm -hmm. So again, if you have any questions as this is posted as a real video, make sure that you comment them down below and we'll do mm -hmm. our best to answer them for yeah. you. Don't forget to leave us a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you like these videos. We do Hyundai and Kia content every week, every day of every year, roughly. Um, <laughs> let us know if there's anything you'd like to see. And if we have the inventory, we'll try our best to do it for you guys. And take care. See you in a Kia. <laughs>